gloomy 55 degrees. Days like this make us long for swimming weather, but that comes with a warning too. Yeah, the CDC estimates about 10 people drown every day in the U.S., and that does not include boating-related deaths. Nina Criscolo spoke with one local business aimed at preventing drownings altogether. Yeah, that's right, and this is a good time to talk about it because May is National Drowning Prevention Month, perfectly placed to bring awareness to that scary possibility right before we open pools or head to the lake. Experts say the best way to avoid a drowning is to learn to swim, and it's never too early or too late to start. You know, it's just not something that any parent wants wants to have happen to their family. So it was it was a no brainer for our family to get him in ASAP. Good job. Beth Chapo is a mom of three and an Instagram influencer, but she doesn't put any filter on the danger of water. We have a creek in our backyard, and so water safety is just hugely important. Her 18-month-old son, Calvin, is a level two minnow at Aquatots in Indianapolis. They're never going to develop the fear of water if you get them in early. Aquatots owner, Lindsay Thayer, says it's not always easy at first. It is sometimes a really rough couple of lessons until they get comfortable in the environment. So he's really grown into his own. Um, he's not a fan of floating yet, but we're gonna get him there. While the floating may not look pleasant for Calvin, Thayer says it's one of the important safety skills they teach. So you're going to see us do, you know, our um, falling in from the side, turning around, trying to climb out of the pool. We teach them to stay on the step until mom or dad says, Two, okay. Three, four, five. Good job. We do start to learn the basics, so just how to, you know, kick properly. Skills that give this mom peace of mind as summer approaches. It was just something that, you know, my husband and I felt was really critical um, for our family for him to know how to swim as early as possible. Now, according to the National Institute of Health, participation in swimming lessons between the ages of one and four years old is associated with an 88% reduction in the risk of drowning. We also want to note the importance of life jackets. If you are near water, make sure you have them and make sure you wear them.